managed to tuck that away. Here's Brisbane again, winning the ball high up the pitch to Fryer. Sean Fryer will square it, goes beyond stock. Corbin, shot blocked, Corbin again. And she has her goal. Brisbane Raw take the early lead. And it's Mia Corbin with the strike. Intercepted by Della Harp. Brisbane not able to get out quickly that time. And now a miss hit pass right into the path of Amina Rekic, who equalises for Melbourne City. Well, she's been threatening the Bosnian international. And she's made it one all here. Back to Hughes. And right again to Torpy. Torpy beats one player, cuts inside to Galic, who shoots deflection and Ekic. Makes it two in quick succession for Melbourne City. What a turnaround. They take the lead. And again, Amina Ekic, bottom corner, top corner. It, it doesn't ma matter. She's picking her spot. And... Ekic just moving a microphone out of the way, delivers in. And into the back of the net for Melbourne City. Hannah Wilkinson makes it three for the home side. And it's a pretty comprehensive turnaround now. Oh, and that's a fantastic delivery by Amina Ekic. Season last time and a very popular member of the squad as well. Here's Holly Palmer with a corner for Brisbane. Whipped in and a header from McCormick. Well, she gives Brisbane a lifeline early in this second half, her second goal of the season. She makes it 3-2. Here comes Hannah Wilkinson, 24 shots for the Raw, only six for City. They've just been so clinical with those shots. Amina Rekic cuts inside, shoots, and it's another goal for Melbourne City. Amina Rekic with her hat trick. A wonderful day out for her, and it's 4-2 City. Sitting around 1.6. Brisbane Raw, 2.3. Can they add a third goal? Mia Corbin strikes. Well, another error playing out from the back in this game, and it's given the Raw another window to get back into it. Mia Corbin scores her second, and we're back to 4 3. City. Rihanna Policina, lovely penalty. A beautiful dink into the corner. And it's now 5-3 to the home side. Yeah, it's a really well taken um, penalty by Policina. You can... High speed, slippery day, just not able to twist it inside the post. That's right, and a, perhaps a bit of fatigue as well. Cross comes in here, and the header is in! It's Janaya Dos Santos! Just her second appearance for Sydney FC. And she scores her first Liberty A-League goal at what could be a final time. Ball forward from Ilioski. Flannery, lovely ball through. Sasha Grove squares it. And Heyman, she gives Canberra United the lead. Goal number 98 for the veteran. She knows how to find the back of the net. It was Mel Taranto, rather, who whipped that ball in, but cleared away. Vlanich now back into the mixer towards the back post. Adriana Taranto puts the ball in the back of the net for Western United. She equalises. It has been coming in this second half. From the corner, delivered in. Falls to the back post and driven in by Amy Harrison. A captain's goal and her first of the season. Here's Morris. Caspers, that's a brilliant ball for Apostolakis. Wow! A sensational ball through. And Alexia Apostolakis. Well, it's a high line from Perth Glory. You can see the two center strikers in Millie Farrow and Grace Jarle setting right on the edge of the 18-yard box, and it will be a high press. 
Well, that's an urgent one. A, a howler of a mistake from Taron King. A striker's instinct poached into the back of the net. A fist pump of apology, but Perth and great pressure. They've taken the lead. Charlie. Scrapped well from Hayward. Good strength shown by Grace Jale. Rigby's kept on. Looks to scoop across into the middle of the park. It's as easy as you like for Millie Farrow. She makes it a brace for the afternoon. She extends the lead for Perth Glory. The Central Coast Mariners' defence melted away. And Millie Farrow said thank you very much. Langman off the line well. Nice distribution. Bryson finds a run of Badawia. That run has been so effective for her all afternoon. And Badawia winds one up. And in case there was any doubt about the first one, there is absolutely none about that. That is a fine, fine strike from Roller Badawia. In her third of the season, well, she's given the Central Coast Mariners a lifeline. I'm surprised by the possession stat. It doesn't feel like Adelaide have had the majority of the possession because of how Newcastle have utilised their possession a lot more. Well, here goes Dylan Holmes, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Rounds her. Dylan Holmes opens the scoring for Adelaide United. Well, just like last week, she's done it again. And it's the away side. Here you go. One goal to the good. Searching for Dorba. He's cut out, though, and Newcastle now... Cass Davis to Bauman. Bauman, lovely ball over the top, finding Copas Brown who shoots and equalises for Newcastle. Well, they've had the better of this opening 15 minutes and Copas Brown puts it away. What a pass by Bauman. Certainly a prolific goal scorer, Serena Bolden. 28 for the Philippines and three and four games so far this season. Here comes the corner in swinging and it's in the back of the net. Natasha Pryor makes it two for Newcastle. Well, no one was there to clear away for Adelaide and Pryor says thank you very much. Get it away by Pryor. Lauren Allen, ball forward to Serena Bolden. Is she on side here? Serena Bolden, flag stay down. Bolden makes it three for Newcastle. It is what she does, the Philippines International.